What's going on guys? Jeff from 7th Voyage. I want to say I'm back. Oh boys! I'm back! But it's hard to say I'm back when I only made two videos before. That wasn't much of a start. So let's just consider this my official YouTube start. Kind of regret doing that. Uh... I'm gonna clean this up. Let's run that intro while I do that. All right guys, welcome to the channel. It's where I'm gonna be doing a bunch of different design series. Let's kick things off with the first one. And this one is called Design That Track. Each video in this series will be based on a song and I'll create a design around it. It can be anything from a lyric from that song, uh, what I think the song means, what the song means to me. There's no real right or wrong here. Just think of it like designing album art, but that album only has one song on it. And I want you all to participate. At the end of every video, I'll reveal a song for the next design and I'll give you a hashtag to use. Create a design based on that song and post your design to your Instagram using the hashtag I give at the end of each video. I'll feature my favorite design at the end of the next video and on my story on Instagram. Also, you can use any medium you'd like. Photoshop, 3D, drawing, all mediums are welcome and so are all skill levels. So if you wanna draw some stick figures, go for it. Maybe you draw awesome stick figures. Uh, the designs just have to be new though. You can't use an old design. The song I chose for track one is none other than Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult. If you don't know this track, definitely give it a listen, though I'm sure most of you know it from the famous SNL cowbell skit. Uh, I linked the song in the description because I'm not sure if I can play snippets of the song in these videos yet. Um, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Uh, that'd be super helpful. Anyway, let's hit play on this intro. I'm gonna be using mostly Blender for this one and then finish up with Photoshop. Normally I do all Photoshop or a mix of Photoshop and Blender, but this one just worked in Blender. In the future, I'll be doing some of these a bit more on the fly, but my computer cannot handle particle systems in Blender well, so I couldn't record while creating this. Okay, so I started with two rigged skeleton models. I started to pose them based on these awesome reference photos I took. Moving joints here, twisting arms there, it can kind of be a tedious process, but after a bit, Boom, I had this. I didn't like the skulls that were on the original models, so I deleted those and added more realistic looking ones, these. I needed to texture these now. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any good bone textures online. Talk about a boner killer. <laughs> but I found this plastered wall texture from Quixel and just modified it a bit. I wasn't too concerned, honestly, because I was partially gonna cover up the texture with moss anyway. Speaking of moss, I went into the weight paint section for the skeletons and started painting where I wanted the moss to be. From there, I opened up the plugin Graswald. I think that's how you say it. Uh, selected one of the moss options and started messing with settings until I found something I liked. I applied the vertex groups I had made in the weight paints and boom, mossy moss. Also, I'm on an iMac, so this process was super slow and frustrating. I really need to join the world of PC. Then it was time for the surface. So I added a plane, Nope, not that kind. Gave it some displacement and then went with a dirt texture. Normally I'd mix about like two to three textures and do some vertex painting to hide repetitive areas, but I knew most of it was going to be covered with grass and flowers. I wanted just a few patches peeking through. So from there, I went back into my weight paints and started making vertex groups for all the grass and flower variants I was gonna use. I went with about six to seven different foliage models uh, just to get the look that I wanted. After that, I simply used the daylight system in Blender as it was giving me a nicer look than the HDRIs I was trying. I made the sun larger to really soften those shadows because I'm just not really a huge fan of, uh, of really hard shadows. Finally, I set this guy up to render, which took about seven years. Uh, and when it finished, I put it into Photoshop and just did some final adjustments in Camera Raw, uh, just to kind of give it a bit more of a dreamy look. And uh, this is the final piece. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Jeff, where the f is the Grim Reaper in this piece? Uh, I was initially gonna make something with the Grim Reaper, but it kind of seemed too obvious. 
Clearly the song has a strong theme around the idea of not fearing your own mortality. But the more I listen, there's a very strong love story going on between these two people in it. The line, love of two is one, here but now they're gone, really stuck out to me. There's this idea that their love will transcend their physical existence. And I really wanted to show that. Um, it's a beautiful idea, so that's how I came up with the concept of the skeletons in an embrace. Uh, their lives are over, but their love for each other is not. Also, there's some awesome covers of this song out there. My favorite is by Keep Shelley in Athens. It's such an ethereal take on the song. Uh, it's perfect, honestly. And if you've seen the movie Scream, there's a scene where Billy climbs through Sydney's window and he's trying to get some late night, you know. And uh, you can hear the version by Gus Black in the background. It's all acoustic and it's just a super haunting version of the song. Uh, definitely check it out. And also watch Scream. It's, if you haven't seen Scream, what the hell's wrong with you? And lastly, like I said, I'd be choosing my favorite design from you guys. For this video, the winner is Lou Artem. I really like the world you created in your piece uh, and the giant reaper was just, was pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this first video of Design That Track. Please join in and follow along for track two. The song for the next video is Highway to Hell by ACDC. Don't forget to post your design to your Instagram and use the hashtag 7vHighway for your chance to win. Also, feel free to request songs in the comments. I'd love to do some designs based on some of your favorite tracks. Uh, and with that, that pretty much wraps up the first episode of Design That Track. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh my gosh. Confetti everywhere. I keep.